Okay, now we will need to add the new object and the new fields into this existing application. So I'm going to open application designer and open the asset application. Then I will add a new tab to this uh, application. So just make a tab here. Okay. Relationship of this table to the uh, set log relationship that we have just defined in our database application. Okay, I'm gonna save it and uh, I'm gonna refresh the application so it uh, doesn't show me that annoying invalid binding. So I can now add some columns to the table. So I'm gonna add a few columns. Yep. And I'm gonna delete this one. So I'm gonna add the uh, make this one new event. Make this one an uh, event. Now I'm gonna add this one should be the asset number field and uh, this one should be the uh, asset lock um, with um, maybe a date and time lookup just to make it look nice and uh, this one should be the uh, Prefix a uh, lock field, yeah. and uh, for this one, I'm gonna set it an event. I'm gonna So I remember this correctly, so I can refer to an existing function, existing table. Let's have a look. Yeah. So what I want to do here, I want to add the same. Yeah, let's keep the same icon, the garbage icon here to make it look uh, nice. So I'm going back to our table. And I'm gonna change it. In this case, I'm not gonna add a detail section here, but I'm gonna add a new button, a push button here. So I'm gonna add, a, I will need to add a uh, button group first, push button. See push button group. Yep. Okay. And now I'm gonna set it to zero. Then B is echo. Okay. Now let's see what do we have. So let's uh, go back to our asset application to see if. Uh, we got it's uh, working now. Yep, so I click on new row. Yep, so it looks good. I have I should add a detail section here so to make it looks better. Yep, 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a section and I'm gonna add a SMD field, section row, uh, section column. Some section. Yep, I'm gonna call this the details. And then I'm gonna have some field here. Multi line text box here. I'm gonna associate it with my description field. Set it to three row. Okay, make it a bit bigger, maybe four row. Yep. And then here I'm gonna set a side here. I set and then lock type. Make it and then um, lock up just to make it look nice. Okay. And um, yeah, it's not in the right order, so. Perhaps I'm gonna change the order a little bit by exporting this design XML file. Okay, and now edit it. Yep. So I'm gonna rearrange the layout of the table a little bit. Import it back to application. Okay, let's see if it works. Yeah, looks fine. Now let's open it in our application. Okay, so it looks fine. Now if we click on new row, so we can see that uh, Maximo already populates the uh, size value for me and the log date and time here. But then if I click on save button now, this record will disappear. Why? Because uh, this table only show all of the record that is related to this asset, but this asset we for this new record, we haven't set the asset number value here. So uh, when we save it, this new record will be added to the database, but it will not be so here in this table because there is no link between the main record and this child record. So what we will have to do next is to write some Java code so that we can populate the asset number of this field and populate it from the main record here to populate the asset number of the parent record here so that is one thing that we will do obviously there are other methods that is easier we can do it through configuration like using the default field for example but in this case i'm going to demonstrate uh, how we use java uh, class to do this so we're going to write it in the next tutorial and also uh, we will write some Java class so that uh, we will lock down this field so the user cannot change this value after uh, a new value is uh, populated here uh, to make sure that uh, uh, user cannot mess up with the data. So that is uh, uh, what we're gonna do next. So now let's let me quickly save this so you see that this record will be disappear. Yeah, you see? So every time we add something new if we let's say this main record is uh, 104 if we go in here and paste 104 here and we save it it should still be displayed here because it now is now linked to the main record yeah you can see yeah so we will move to the uh, Java class uh, extension